This is a Bradley Infantry fighting vehicle. And these are scenes of this vehicle participating in real combat operations in the Donetsk region. You can see a Russian APC moving towards the Bradley, as if it owns the road. The Bradley crew opens devastating fire on the enemy vehicle, forcing the Russian APC to swerve onto the roadside. Just look at the minimal distance in this head-on confrontation. The damaged Russian vehicle is smoking and hiding among the buildings and trees. On this road, the Bradley encountered the modern Russian T-90M tank. Look at the intense fire the Bradley directs at the enemy vehicle. Eventually, the tank can't withstand it and detonates like a sparkler. Although the primary mission of the Bradley is not to destroy tanks, you can observe the deployment of Ukrainian infantry performing tasks on one of the hotspots of the front line. By the way, you can compare the door opening mechanism and the amount of space inside the BMP-2 and the Bradley. In the Bradley IFV, the ramp opens automatically and the interior space is significantly larger. In the Russian vehicle, this happens manually and there is significantly less headroom which reduces mobility. Returning to the battlefield, we see Ukrainian soldiers carrying out their mission while the IFV covers them and provides suppressive fire. The Bradley IFV is also perfect for tending to cattle or even camping outdoors in the forest. Support the soldiers with likes for their creativity, sense of humor, and fighting spirit even in such difficult times. But let's return to the real situation on the battlefield where the Bradley IFV is carrying out a mission to evacuate a Ukrainian soldier. A drone launched earlier spotted the soldier who was near Russian positions. The soldier had the presence of mind to show the drone operator his military documents, confirming that he was Ukrainian. An hour later, reinforcements arrived in the IFV, quickly retrieved the soldier, and brought him to safety. A similar situation, but the Bradley IFV is heading for an evacuation during a combat engagement. In the video, you can see the full range of weaponry in action, except perhaps for aviation. Despite this, the vehicle proceeds to the mission point, firing to cover the soldiers. It even gets hit by an RPG. But the vehicle doesn't seem to notice. After picking up the soldiers, it successfully leaves the combat zone. The Bradley IFV has very good armor compared to Russian IFVs. In these scenes from a Russian drone, you can see a Zala Lancet hitting the Bradley IFV. The hit lands on the Bradley's reactive armor, which functioned as intended, and saved the vehicle. After the explosion, no further fire or detonation is visible. Here are a few more photos taken after the hits from Russian RPGs and UAVs. You can see in more detail how the reactive armor works, thereby saving the vehicle and the crew. Because of these qualities of reliability that save lives, Ukrainian soldiers value the Bradley IFV even more than German Leopards or American Abrams tanks. The Bradley is indeed a good vehicle, but to avoid the propaganda of invincibility, I present you with these scenes. Now you can see during a combat engagement how the Russians hit the front lower part of the IFV with an RPG, where the fuel tanks are located. The fire ignites, and the fuel starts to burn out. However, the fire almost immediately goes out because the automatic fire suppression system activates. Next, there is another RPG hit on the right side, followed by one on the left. But the reactive armor performs excellently. However, the Russians fire another RPG shot at the front, which finally disables the vehicle. Another Bradley IFV arrives to assist, evacuates the crew, and successfully retreats from the battlefield. The Bradley moves down the street, firing as it goes. Suddenly, the vehicle hits a mine. Although there's no detonation, it can no longer move. The Ukrainian soldiers fire off all their ammunition and abandon the vehicle. Despite losing the machine, it saved the most important thing, the soldiers. In these scenes, you can see the aftermath. The exterior of the vehicle is damaged, the track is destroyed, but the crew remains unharmed. Not only is the protection at a high level, but the combat capabilities of the Bradley are also top-notch. It is equipped with night vision devices and various types of weaponry. Here are probably scenes you haven't seen before. A nighttime duel between a Russian T-80 tank and a Bradley IFV. The Ukrainian crew fires a Tau anti-tank missile, 
which hits the tank directly and destroys it. Watch these scenes again to see how confidently the missile moves along its straight trajectory. By morning, using a reconnaissance drone, the extent of the tank's damage can be seen in more detail. The Bradley IFV's weapon system also includes a 7.62mm M240C machine gun and a 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun. Now you see a rare video in which soldiers, supported by a Bradley IFV during a nighttime operation, are driving the Russians out of dense urban areas. Just look at the havoc the Bradley wreaks with its cannon. On these frames, the Bradley fighting vehicle is engaging near Ukrainian positions. The Russians attempted an assault but lost another piece of equipment. Look at the rapid fire the Bradley unleashes on the Russian BMP-2. The vehicle literally breaks down into parts. On another front line, the Bradley fighting vehicle has been deployed to eliminate Russian armored vehicles. Drone footage captures three units of equipment targeted by the Ukrainian BMP. Some of the vehicles detonate, leaving behind nothing but irreparable scrap metal. While the United States continuously upgraded the Bradley, the Russians failed to offer anything substantial, leaving the BMP-2, inherited from the USSR, almost unchanged in technical advancement. The only, albeit questionable, advantage of the BMP-2 over the Bradley is its ability to cross water obstacles by swimming. At the same time, the BMP-2 has weak armor, although the Russians try to improve it by welding on steel grills and fitting polymer panel kits, as you can see in the photos. Alternatively, they use wooden add-on armor, though this doesn't protect against drones. All these modifications are more effective for fighting civilian structures. Share in the comments if you know of any other advantages of Russian BMPs over the Bradley or Max Pro. By the way, here are recent footage of the same vehicle with mine-resistant ambush protection, the Max Pro. Despite heavy fire from the Russians, the Ukrainian driver races through the streets of Chasiv Yar at full speed, completing the combat mission. In addition to artillery operating in this area, he encounters mines. Despite everything, the Max Pro continues moving past a large amount of destroyed equipment on the roadside. At least five explosions occurred over such a short distance. But the vehicle didn't fail, and allowed the logistic combat mission to be successfully completed. Another video of a mission involving the Max Pro. The vehicle moves off-road when suddenly, an artillery shell falls just 10 meters away. The crew continues moving through the constant artillery barrage, but they are lucky as the shells land near the road. The crew's luck and the vehicle's reliability truly show when, after some time, an explosion occurs right next to the wheel. Immediately after that, the Russians tried to stop the Max Pro with a kamikaze drone, but fortunately, it hit the ground next to the vehicle. Ultimately, the crew reached the populated area, successfully completing their mission of evacuation and ammunition delivery. Tank duels are quite rare, and even rarer are the documented footage of such battles. This is a Russian T-72 being fired upon by a Ukrainian T-64. The Russians have already abandoned their tank after being hit, but their equipment needs to be finished off, which the Ukrainian T-64 does. The footage shows Russian soldiers from fortified positions nearby, trying to hit the Ukrainian tank. They don't succeed, and meanwhile, the Ukrainian tank lands a precise shot that finally destroys the T-72. The mission is completed, and the T-64 begins to retreat. Finally, the Russians fire an anti-tank missile in an attempt to destroy the tank, but it hits the ground and ricochets away from the vehicle. In the ruins of a former village, a clash between a Ukrainian T-64 and a Russian T-72 tank unfolds. The Ukrainian tank fires a shell that instantly detonates the ammunition. He makes another confirming shot. The correction drone confirms the complete destruction of the T-72. And the Ukrainian tank begins to retreat while engaging possible enemy strongholds in parallel. 
Here are shots from the early days of the war when Russian soldiers underestimated the importance of drones. They tried to hide their tanks among civilian buildings. While they were parking their vehicles, Ukrainian artillery deployed their cannons. Shot fired. A direct hit shatters the vehicle into pieces. Another shot. The second tank detonates as well. What remains of the vehicle starts burning down to bare metal. Since then, much has changed. Tanks have ceased to be ordinary and have transformed into tortoises and Frankensteins. One of these specimens was captured almost intact by the Ukrainian military. You can see in the drone footage how a few bomb drops forced the tank to stop, after which the soldiers suddenly surrounded it, leaving the Russians no choice but to surrender. You can see the tank being successfully driven to a safe location, where it will be studied in more detail later. Unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, after a thorough inspection of the tank, nothing supernatural was found under its armor. Only the expected electronic warfare systems, positioned around the perimeter beneath the metal plates, and equipment that had been installed at the factory during the Soviet Union era were discovered. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.